What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Ghost of Tsushima. And today I want to talk about supplies and all the different types of supplies that are available in game and kind of give you some tips along the way about how to use these supplies and what you can do with them. Uh, first of all, there are different types of hides in game. As you can see right here, you're seeing some hunting uh, kind of in the background. You can get hides from bear, wild boar, and the black kind of fluffy dogs that are with the uh, Mongols. Those are the only three animals that will drop hides. Now, there are other animals in game, as you'll see here shortly. I'm going to kind of give you an example. I'm going to shoot a deer. They don't drop any hides whatsoever. So if you're looking for hides, make sure you're killing bear. Like I said, wild boar are those black fluffy dogs that attack you that are usually with the Mongols. Some other items that you will come across in game for crafting and, and upgrading uh, item, uh, upgrading you know weapons or, or gear is going to be iron, steel, and gold, flowers, bamboo, yew wood, wax wood, linen, leather and silk uh, these are all items that can be used to upgrade of course flowers can be used to change the color and dyes of your uh, gear that you have on you can also buy certain items with flowers from the merchant there's a lot of different stuff that you can collect now some of this stuff will be out in the wilderness you'll find flowers and wood just out in the wilderness while you're just roaming around uh, of course if you're looking for some other things you can find those in buildings and tents always be sure that you're checking every building every tent that you come across because there's always a, a plentiful amount of supplies in buildings and tents. Another way that you can find uh, material is within random encounters. I don't know if you guys have seen the video I kind of made talking about uh, ways to gain XP in game. But in that video I talked about how you can come across random encounters. Usually those random encounters will have a small wooden box kind of at the uh, setting around the area that random encounter takes place. And that wooden box usually has supplies in it as well. So always make sure that you're looking for that wooden box if you come across a random encounter. Because all of these ways uh, will give you a plentiful, I guess, amount of supplies if you kind of make sure that you're checking all the boxes when you're going through these certain areas. If you're checking buildings, checking tents, uh, like I said, going through the wilderness and collecting things, and also checking that box at the end of a random encounter. And one last place that you can get materials, of course, is going to be the gift altar. Don't forget about your gift altar. Uh, sometimes you might get a mask or something like that, but you also can get materials. And sometimes it can be upwards to almost 100 materials from that gift altar. So be sure anytime you see it, there's a gift at the altar that you go get it because that may give you some of the materials that you're needing to upgrade something. And last but not least, uh, I really want to talk about, I guess, two more things quickly. And that's going to be there is a charm for crafting. This is at the tall hill between uh, the Archer's Rise, and this will double the supply drops uh, of items. So if you have this charm equipped, if you're wanting to go out and just straight farm, you know, you're just wanting to look for items, this charm is a good one to have equipped because you will get those double items, and you're going to be able to level up stuff a lot quicker with this charm. And uh, the other thing that I want to touch on quickly was selling unwanted items to a trapper. Now, you're going to eventually upgrade gear, upgrade your weapons, and some of the older supplies that you used originally will not be needed anymore because you're going to be using more advanced style material so you can sell that stuff to a trapper which is a good idea because you're really not going to use it for anything and that way you can get rid of some older material and get some newer material from that trapper so i kind of hope this helps you out guys understanding the supplies and kind of how they work i'm going to make some other videos later on about how to farm uh, supplies and, and where you can farm certain stuff in certain areas to be kind of this kind of more plentiful but just really in general there is stuff all over the game so always make sure that you're looking uh, everywhere you're always searching for things uh, whenever you're anywhere in the world because there, you never know what kind of materials you could find of course if you like the video make sure you hit the like if you have not subscribed yet please do so if you are a subscriber make sure you click the bell icon up in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live if you have the chance to share the video, please do. It does help out the channel a lot. Be sure to check out GT Racing. Of course, they are the affiliate here on the channel. Their information is linked down in the description. And if you would like to join the Discord community, uh, the option to join, of course, is down in the description as well if you would like to do that. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.